Hi, my name is Emeshe from Everything Digital and in today's video I would like to talk about the softwares and programs I use to run my digital products business. So if you are interested what I'm using to make everyday life and management easier, stay tuned. Let's get into it. So, I grouped all of these softwares and programs into three categories. The first one is everything related to my Etsy store. The second group are the programs I use to manage my team. And the third category has everything else included it. It's called miscellaneous. So, let's start with the first category. Here we have every program, software, subscription that I use to manage and run my Etsy store. In my Etsy store, I sell digital products. I have two Etsy shops. In the first one, I sell printable planners. And in the second one, I sell editable templates. The first and most important platform is Etsy itself. It's a great platform because it has traffic already built in. You don't have to do much to drive traffic to your uh, store. This way you can start making sales and making money in your first or in your second month. If you're interested how much money I made in February 2022 in my template shop, I have a video about that. You can find that in the description. Okay, the second uh, subscription that I use is called Etsy Rank. I use this to find keywords, optimize my listings, and sometimes spy on my competition. I know everybody does that either on Etsy rank or Marmalade, but uh, sellers who have established shops put a lot of time and effort into finding the right keywords and optimizing their listings so that it will show up on the first page of search. And uh, this way people can see the listings, click on them, read through, take a look at the pictures, and if they like what they see, they can purchase the item. Etsy rank is a great tool for keyword research. Keywords are the one and most important thing that you can do to optimize your listings on the Etsy platform. The next software I use is Adobe Creative Suite. I use all of their programs from Photoshop to Premiere Pro. I love it and I will keep using it in the future. The last program in this category is Canva. I use it to create my um, listing pictures, the little animations that you can put on Etsy, and some other graphics, including the thumbnails for this channel. Canva has many great resources, shapes, frames, animations, graphics, that, and uh, also templates that you can use and make your own by editing on the Canva platform. The second category is uh, my management category. Here I have four programs and the first one is Google Calendar. I put here every important event that is coming up in a month. I also have a physical calendar that I can write it on. It's a whiteboard, it has all the dates and I can write it manually with a marker. I love both formats but Google Calendar is the official one. On my whiteboard I also put uh, personal events and personal errands that I have to run but the Google Calendar is really important for the big business meetings and, and yeah, any important events are going on there. The second one is my email. Uh, I use Gmail for my Etsy shop. I think this is the best one for this. This is a free email address that you can use to run your Etsy shop. Etsy sends you emails every time you make a sale, every time someone sends you a message or a help request and uh, every time you get a payout. Uh, those are my favorite emails. I keep them. I have a separate folder in my email account and I put all of my payout emails in there so I can see how many paychecks do I get and how much money I'm getting each week. I set my Etsy payouts to weekly. You can do this monthly, bi-weekly, but I prefer weekly. So I get four emails every month that I keep forever. The next tool that I use is called Hubstaff. I started using this uh, subscription service uh, in January this year and I am really pleased with it. I love it. Uh, I also upgraded for the tasks add-on because I can put every project in Hubstaff, create a task list, I can put there each client and I can assign tasks to every team member. This way everyone knows what they have to do in the following days or even weeks I prefer to do a whole month and if we have some other smaller projects I will put them in there separately. 
but I like to plan out uh, the whole month ahead. This way I make my job and my team's job easier. They will know each day what do they have to do. This tool also measures productivity and I can track what uh, the people are doing on their computers because it takes screenshots once every 10 minutes. This can sound a little bit like I'm spying on my uh, team, but my team is 100% online, so I don't have anyone with me in my office. I don't expect 100% efficiency, 100% doing the, those tasks, but in, the, in that time that I am paying for, I expect them to do the tasks that I assign to them. I got burned before without tracking, and this way I can make sure that everything is getting done and I can pay a normal wage for my employees. And the last one that we use quite a lot, it's called WhatsApp. It's like a messenger system that we use here in Europe. You can use it on your phone and your, on your computer and it makes sending larger files easier. And the last one that I use for really large files, it's called WeTransfer. I use this not only with my team, but I sometimes send large files to my clients. You can send for free up to two gigabytes of um, files for free. So we prefer this for large uh, illustrator files, large logo files and um, zip files. And the third and final category, the miscellaneous one. Here I have two tools. The first one is called YNAP. It's short for you need a budget. I use this to plan out my business expenses and uh, to track my um, incoming uh, amounts so that uh, I can make sure that I always have money assigned to the correct categories and that I don't run out of money when a subscription needs to auto deduct from my account. I really like YNAB. I use it also for my personal budget. It has a, a great extension called the YNAB Toolkit and it shows you a bunch of pretty graphics and you can see where your money went by category, by payee and it shows you charts and I just love it. I'm a very visual person and it makes managing money and the business's money so much easier. And the last tool that I use is WordPress. I am working on building my digital products website. I will uh, update you in the future about how this is going and probably I will do a comparison video between um, WordPress and Etsy. I really hope to launch this website in March so that I can sell my digital products not only on Etsy but also on my own website. So these are the platforms, subscriptions, products that I use to run my digital products business. Please tell me if you have digital products. Tell me in the comments. Are you using any of these? What else should I try that you find really helps your business your and your everyday life? And uh, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.